No. Marchlands. Let's see the summary. A harsh and cold land that has been claimed by many different an extremely resilient species of fungi. Land around here is extremely hard and rocky, making it difficult to farm. This region is most famous for the giant organisms that can be found in its forest. Please give us mushrooms, leather, and wood. Alright. Gatherers are better, and giant resources can be found in Forbidden Glade. I wonder if we can actually harvest those. Well, we'll find out. Probably. Thinking I'll start with the harpies. Because I think the lizards will be quite unhappy. Well, we might want the trappers. Still though, I do not like starting with lizards. They tend to be quite unhappy. I will start with even more people. Some wood. Some vegetables and some roots. We can't see the seasonal conditions, but they are punishing. So I think we'll be fine with this. Important matters. Impatience grows seventy percent slower during drizzle season. The queen seems to be preoccupied with more pressing matters. All right, that's pretty nice. We do start with beavers, so they'll definitely be our woodcutters. And this is pretty standard. Unearthly elements. Maximum number of sacrifice stacks is lowered by one. Alright. Um, the climate fuel consumption is higher. Light rot crystals consume the storm's energy and become more resilient. Burning it takes longer. I think that's pretty fine. Sun is obscured even more than usual. Time between breaks and services prevented. Gotcha. Rain tank. Rain engines we can get. We need to install rain engines in your production buildings. Fueling them. To install a rain engine, select the production builder and navigate to the rain punch tab. Okay, I think that tab might be new then. Got snake nests, and that's about it, it seems like. Got some small glades, a couple dangerous glades, some forbidden glades. Alright, definitely starting on a woodcut camp. And I think it's wrapper camp that gives us eggs. Perfect. The normal pathway, please. And we might as well start on that. Have it a little bit more planned out than our previous one. So I didn't like how it ended up looking at the end. Let's well start on our shelter. Definitely. The beavers. And the harpies in the trapper camp. 
would you all avoid place except the marked, but I will definitely mark you to open it immediately. What will be our first cornerstone value added tax? No. Tanning in X plus 2 to lead production. Work play delivery line. I think we'll have plenty of clay and stone in this biome. I'm thinking going with tanning racks. I don't think we'll get a lot of fiber. But I'll definitely want the leather production. Orders. What's this? Need for basic housing fulfilled. And ship out some wood. Or make some parts. But get some stone. Shovels, useful tools for creating drainage ditches. Villages move 10% faster on roads. I do like that. I do really like that. Box of planks. Some more villages. I think I'll go with the shovels. Definitely. Harpy resolve. We gain more harpies. Berries and parts. For the building material. For more people. Probably the building material. I think that gives us jerky. Yes, that would. Yeah, okay. Definitely we're really going with meat lovers. More insects. Burler. I don't think I like the rich harvest. Seeing as we're in a biome where farming is not very well possible. I am very happy with this. Definitely built some more pathways. Just to finish our first order. We'll also Kijk open this first plate before we start on our blueprints. As usual. But we will start on a crude workstation pretty much immediately. But I'll wait on finishing this order until we get a full point of Queen's Impatience. Otherwise we'll just waste the lowering of it. Right, we are on speed 3. Shelters are fulfilled. Now, here's the question. We do gain quite a bit of it, but I think I already want a second woodcutter camp. I think I do. Alright, what is in the big one? I'll only stuff it with one beaver though, for now. How are we looking on happiness? Pretty happy, because we do have pickled goods for our beavers. And we have the shelter up and running. Right. No pipes. Some Take protection and plague protection only, please. I will allow stone. And we got the light rod cauldron. We could tear it down. Throw it medium, the light rod inside the rainbow cauldron feeds on everything it encounters for every 
eat food produce two blight hot crystals are spawned in the settlement. Right. I mean we could just stop our food production. I do not have purging fire. I do not have any coats or reeds or anything. So we won't be able to cleanse it. We will tear it down immediately and for now we will deactivate the small trapper camp. This kiln. Some coal production. Maybe. Not entirely convinced coal is well worthwhile though. Efficient fuel. Would reduce hostility a lot more. Still, though. Do have large snake eggs. We got some coal veins. We got wheat fields. And a large encampment. Which we will. Definitely welcome. We need the influx of people immediately. We move you over here and mark all of this. But I won't open it just yet. We need to tear this down first. You don't produce food. No, you don't. Good. So do we? I think we salvage it. Once we have the produce for it. I think I'll deactivate you for now. I do need the makeshift posts. I think we can fulfill our first order. Which we will do for the increased movement speed and some stone as well. And we can start salvaging it, which would be just in time, right after we've dealt with the Black Rod Cauldron. Well, I got a squeeze. Alright, I think I mute myself in time there. You are leaving, but the storm is finishing, so no, you are not. There goes the Blight Rot Cauldron. And we gain some jerky and parts from it. Good. We did gain humans from somewhere. Well, Don't know from where exactly, but I'll put them in the post and good workstation. Yeah, While some more beavers inside the woodcutter camp. And I'll keep the harpy. I'll put it in a small trapper camp. We should gain some more builders after we finish salvaging. Perfect. And some more newcomers. Thinking the harpy and human for some basic food. Farsight, certain scouting ahead makes it easier to prepare for the worst. Discover discovering a small clade increases the working speed of scouts in investigating dangerous and forbidden clades events by 50% for 180 seconds. I don't really like opening small clades 
Bombing the forest. Every, every clay event solved by making a decision marked as empathy lowers hostility by 40. Rebellious spirit. Game plus one global resolve for every two impatient points. And every time a villager leaves or dies, impatience increase by an additional 0.2 points. Thinking of rebellious spirits will do good things for us. Don't want the human house. I don't the light post no. Not yet, at least. I'm thinking... Not a harvester camp, forager camp, neither. Not a herbalist. Right, because they're all small camps, right. Let me get some blueprints then. Lumber mill? But plant production can be pretty vital, in all honesty. Although the leather worker would be very good for us actually, because we get a lot of leather. Herbalist camp, I know. I don't think I can use them. Let me do a reroll here. The Tepper Camp, definitely. And then maybe the Cloak here? Maybe. Let me get our leather work up and running first. Right here. We'll do fine. And our trapper camp will lower it eventually. Oh, finish gathering, I mean. I think you can produce fabric, yes. Also produce pigment and water skins. We do all want. We'll get some more orders. I don't have a Good way for roots. But neither do I have a good way to get wine and pottery. Hang on a second. Do we gain it from the trees? No. Could probably buy it pretty easily though. We'll take the roots. More beavers as well. It's gonna be fine. Making connections. Each standing level one with two settlements on trade routes. I could just buy that. Or I could sacrifice oil and coal. Thinking making connections. Let me get a trading post up and running as well. Because we can. I have no packs of crops or provisions. Yes, for building materials. Did I get the. I did not get the. blank production building. Whatever it's called again. 
either clan spot would be pretty decent. Big files too. Let's sell some parts. Let me sell 10 parts. Goods you do not have. Could use some tools. But getting the favor would be pretty nice. I think the shovels do stack. I think they do need stack. We have Eggman production over here, right? Yes, yes we do. Let me get the Pigman production one. Oh, and also... At least a single mine. We get some core production. We wait until the storm is finished. Maybe. Add more noble carrying capacity. Keep forgetting that it actually matters. What does the human do? Impatience goes slower. I think I'll definitely like the light as a feather one. We will take the clearing plates, which gives us even more jerky for our harpies. Good. We do need more shelter. Also, my makes it post. You can stop for now. I do still need the fabric which you can produce from leather and the bricks. I think the coal also gives me stone. At least I hope it does. I don't know, right? Yes. Need for jerky is fulfilled. I do like the insect production, but I'll wait until the impatience grows a bit more. And I need some more space around the heart, that's why I'm moving the woodcutters. All of their resolve is low. Hmm. Could lower their host. Utility for a second by sacrificing some oh actually sacrifice some wood instead we do not need it to reload that much but we do need it to be lowered so what are we taking the clothier for the scrolls and the coats, I'm thinking. Yes. That should be fine. Put you all priority two. No priority one. No water skins though. We can lose wine if we have it. Leather and wood if we have it. Trapper camp has run out. 
let's place you right over here then. You can reach all of them and you're next to the road. Perfect. Alright, cornerstone. Zorg secrets ingredients skewers for every pickles. We do not need skewers. Traders, maybe, or the hidden rewards. I think trade logs will be fine. We need tax provisions. Okay, no more building materials. But I'll allow you to make some tax provisions for me. Let me open up this clade as well. I'll move both my woodcutters there. Orders we will deliver immediately. You still need a couple of things, but first, withered tree. This once mighty tree has been deformed by the blight rot living in its root system. The blight rot poisons the tree's tissue, leading to its long-lasting degradation, making new sets. This burn for five seconds longer. Trees communicate with each other through their roots, making the forest aware of every move. Spawns one blight rot crystal every 120 seconds for every two dangerous or forbidden clade discovered. Penalty is added retroactively. We do have open two dangerous clades. We do not have any codes, no perching fire. Okay, then we will need the blight post. Yes, and the hydrant. Oh, yeah, just a better place to refill, I guess. Let me place it right here. Highest ah, priority, please. And we also get a smithy, which would give us tools, pipes, and trade goods. I think we can just rebuild that one. And what do we get over here? We can break this open for purging fire. Which... Still wouldn't solve a problem because we don't have copper bars unless... We do not gain from here, no. I'm thinking the meat over here. That is a stone deposit, perfect. Let us make one of those. We will need it. I kind of have to cut it down. Yes, we do. And we don't have any way to break this open yet, so... We'll start cutting it down once we have the blight post up and running. We don't have any bricks. Because we do not have any stone or clay. 
So let's get cutting down some stone. Right, we can move you back over here. And maybe over here. They're both on avoiding glades. They are. But way. Nee. Nee, ik kan het niet go around it. We'll go like this, that's fine. Also, decorations, before I forget. Let me get a park. Right over here, sure, next to the trade post. Right, I need it. To disallow you guys to eat the roots. But that's awful expansion. Right. We still need provisions. Which we are making. Let me put some more people in there. Now. I can put another human in the crude workstation. Let's put them on cutting down the wooded tree. And the abandoned cash for now. Let me also get some shelters. It's very much like some big shelters actually. We'll need a lot more wood. Well, planks mostly. Let me put that on higher priority. Something like that. But we still need the bricks. Quite a few more bricks. Hang on, do you also produce... You produce roots and insects. Nice. Very nice indeed. We could get royal gardens for the harmony. Decorations. Give us more good production. For every pack. Could get pipe production with dangerous glades. That should definitely be doable, honestly. Uh, fulfill need for clothes. Yes. More power of clearance. We don't have any barrel production. We do definitely have leather production. So new clothes will be needed. Right. Do we need to starve anything? I'm guessing the smithy. Which, you know what, we will rebuild. 